Hello guys, well welcome back to uh, to Windows Form tutorial and Unity 3D. In our previous game, in our previous video, all we really did was just make a window pop up in our Unity game. Um, now today I'll be showing you guys how to interact with this window, and I don't know, added all sorts of cool stuff. So first thing we're gonna add is a button, and to do that we need to do is go over to system dot windows dot form dot Button. You can just do button just to not mistake it with the UI button. So, and, uh, okay, let's see. How can we do this? So, um, I'm just looking over my old code about this. In fact, I'm gonna pause it so I can figure it out. All right, guys. So I figured it out. So basically, we want to add a button to our Windows Phone. So what we gotta do is just go ahead and declare a button. So it's just that windows on the top button. And then of course that we do the form button one equals new system dot windows dot forms dot button. And now uh, what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and do button one dot name. Let's go ahead and give it a name. I'm gonna put no value in the name. I'm gonna keep the name. This only really matters if we're um, with, with Windows Forms with the Visual Studio, but uh, uh, button one dot text. It is what's gonna so dot text. It's this what's gonna this is what the button's gonna say on it. So print it. So explain why you wrote because we're gonna something that's gonna print whatever we type in the text box. So uh, button dot location. This is what we needed to point in the the drawing of uh, the drawing in space. Because that location this is vector two this is points. So new point equals point. Let's give it fifty comma sixty. So it'll be sort of center and button one dot with my person one not button button one dot dot is right uh dot with with equals let's just get a hundred and let's get eighty. Nope. Uh eighty is okay. And what we need to do to make it appear on our form is form dot controls dot add and just go ahead and add your button one. So just write that down and now of course if you're gonna have multiple ones you need to instantiate them like this one. Make sure they have a position, a width, so they're not too small, the text on them, the name on them, and just Whatever. So if you want to have like multiple buttons, you know, you just go ahead and blah, blah, blah. No, no, multiple buttons and do the same thing for each one. But since we're only using one right now, and then of course add them. So if you had multiple buttons, you just do this and then add button, button two, you know? So it'll just like that. It doesn't have to be a button, whatever form item is there. Um, now. When we press W, woohoo, would you look at that, we have a button here. So what does this button do? Well, when we press it, nothing will happen. Also, I have to say something, guys, when we press it, nothing will happen in our game until we close this. This is because the game is paused. I mean, I even tried, um, I even tried doing it with, with, um, like, like, um, application about running in the background, but it still wouldn't work. I don't know why, but yeah, 
this it just won't work until we close it. So if we wanted to do something, we had to click it and then do whatever we wanted to do and then close it. Now right now it's not doing anything because I've been signed it. Let's go ahead and create a text box. Text box create system dot windows dot form. Box, text box one. <clears throat> uh, okay, so text box one dot uh, equals new system dot windows dot forms dot text box semicolon and I'm just gonna copy that and paste it there so text box one. There. Dot text. We don't want it to have any text yet. We're going to make it blank. And text box one. That's going to be your name. New point. Let's set it at 80. Dot width equals. Let's say width 200. And form. Dot controls. That add. Text box one. Now let's just go ahead. And press play, and when we press W here, we we'll look at that. We have a text box right under the text box we type in, right under our button. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make um <clears throat> we're going to make basically uh, uh, an action. So whenever whenever you uh, click on the button, uh, something will happen. And we'll, we'll, what's going to happen is we're going to print down here in our console. Whatever we typed in that text box. I mean, this is just an example. You guys can do way more stuff like, um, uh, like I once made just a cheat menu, you know, like add health to it there or something. But yeah. So what we want to do is, uh, I believe. Okay, here. So when we're declaring the button, we add something here. So let's say one dot on is it click dot dot click plus equals. Just stop it right there. At plus equals. It's gonna show us this little window over here. Press tab to insert, and when we press tab right there, it's gonna add that. And when we scroll down, it has created a method for us. And this is what's gonna happen whenever we click the one, the button. Guys, make sure to delete this line of code or just comment it out because it will crash your game. If not, and I'll always do whatever, whatever, uh, whatever the text box says. So how do you do that? Well, print and text box one dot text again we're gonna have to close the app the window navigation and then it's gonna show it right here so let's go ahead guys so basically all you did was um, basically like this click event kind of it's not really but it's kind of like an event uh, an array and you just added something to it so button click blah, blah, blah. this will happen go back into unity press play now you just print it out. Uh, okay, so now let's print out so you can see it. Let's print it out. Wow, this is great. So let's click print it. Now, as you can see, nothing has happened. We need to exit out of this one. So exit out. It did not print it. Yeah, it Wow, this is great. You can see here, it's just not first. Uh, if we were to, if we were to remove this, don't print open windows forms you can see here that it will guys this is just an example on how to interact with it it's very cool and i hope you guys enjoy it oh, this great print it Looks it out wow this is great isn't that great guys hope you guys enjoy it hope it helped guys very cool thing you can do here with unity and windows forms i mean not really uh, something that great, but if you want to, you know, just good for learning and experience and stuff. Uh, yeah, I hope it helped, guys. If you have any more questions, though, definitely ask me in the comments. But I'm only going to go over, like, the basics, like, button and text box. I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything else, like, uh, toggles and radio buttons and stuff, but I don't know. You guys are going to have to learn the Windows Forms API. I just showed you guys how to display it in the game. Well, hope it helped, guys. And subscribe for more and bye.